Hey there, it's Teresa of Erised, and welcome to day four of our Countdown to Christmas series. Welcome back to my channel. This is Teresa of Erised. Welcome to day four of our 25 days countdown to Christmas. We are doing 25 videos in 25 days. As you can see right now, we are talking to Orville and we are headed to go to work. I am going to do my first ever house on Happy Home Paradise on this island. I have been playing Happy Home Paradise on my other island, um, the Cottagecore one, but for the winter one, I thought it would be fun to film me creating the first house. If you are new, please consider subscribing. It would really, really mean so much to me, and you can join our little cauldron community. Also, if you like this video and other Animal Crossing gaming content, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up because it really supports my videos, my channel, and all of that good stuff. I mainly wanted to create this video because I know there's a lot of people that may be asking for the paid DLC for Christmas or Hanukkah or whatever holiday that you celebrate, and I wanted to kind of give you a little inside scoop on what the game looks like. So if you don't want any spoilers, I'm really sorry, but there are going to be spoilers here, as you can already see. Oh my goodness, this looks so pretty. I forgot what it looked like. Oh my gosh. I love this. This is so cool. Can I skip this? I don't even know. I get him. <laughs> All right, well, that's fine. <laughs> We skipped just a little bit of the ending there, but this is great. Oh my gosh, all the little houses and buildings are so cute. I'm so excited. Nico! Hello, Nico! He works with Lottie. Okay, everyone is so ready for you. The office isn't far from this pier, so let's get going. All right. I've been waiting for you, Teresa. And welcome back to you too, Nico. Thanks for leading the way. Oh, look at his little smile. Oh, so first up, we have to decide on a uniform. Okay, so let's head upstairs and change out of our Santa costume before we can begin the design. Okay, perfect. Okay, you can make changes. Okay, so I like these sandals. And let me see. Do you wanna do pants? Skirt, or oh, the dress is cute. Okay, wait, I like the dress. And let's... Let's do something fun. Oh wait, I like this one. That's good. And then let's put a flower in our hair. Beautiful! Okay, that is the OOTD for work today. Adorable. Okay, let's head back downstairs and we will get to work. Okay, so Lottie can't leave the office. She is stuck there. Nico, I'm sorry, we are not going to be calling you boss. <laughs> no, no. Here is our first client. Okay, so we have Eloise. She wants a vacation home tailored to her needs. And yes, we are taking orders. So let's see what does Eloise want. Alrighty, let's see what is she interested in. A relaxing reading room. Okay, we could definitely do that. I love to read. This is right on point for me. Love it. Let's just, let's do it. Let's 
let's just jump right on in cute okay so for today's video we are only going to be decorating the inside the interior of the house however stay tuned for the countdown to christmas series because you may see another video and it might be the exterior of eloise's house Okay, so for designing the interior, I figured we would do this as a little bit of a speed build. So first and foremost, as I always start off, I like to choose a wall, floors, and rugs, and then move them around the rugs whenever I decide. So what I decided on was yellow to fit Eloise's exterior, and the striped wall was so beautiful. I like the yellow, but none of the floors really matched except for this common flooring, so I really love the way that that turned out. As for rugs, the striped rug, I had to use it because it just matches the room so well. And I wanted to have it opposite of the accent wall, and I think it just looks so cute. It looks so comfy and cozy. I really actually wish I could have done this room as more of a snowy vibe. However, when you first start the game here, you cannot use all of the items. So we had to just go with a bright and colorful pattern here. I threw down bookshelves and I knew that I wanted the left side of the room and the right side of the room to be completely symmetrical. I really like the way that that looks when decorating a room. So that's what I'm doing here. I am just doubling up on both of the sides and I wanted to see if there was a different table I could use under the window because that one's a little bit high. So I'm really, really just loving the way that this looks. And then I found the low board and I was like, yes, have to use it. So we ended up using that one and I think I took out the other one. I did and we just duplicated it. I love that feature of being able to duplicate. If you don't know how, what you do is you hit the ZR button on the top right of your controllers and that's how you use it. And I wanted to make this room fresh and clean. When I think of fresh and clean, that is adding in flowers and shrubbery. So that's what I did. You can't have a reading room without books, magazines, everything. So that's what I did. I honestly didn't go into this with any idea of how I wanted to decorate it, except that I wanted it to be kind of like a snowy room. And when I realized that wasn't going to be an option, I started from square one. What else is new? But I think it turned out great and I had so much fun building this. I really like the yellow and the whites, but I wanted to add a pop of another color and I thought green would be perfect because of the flowers that I was going to be adding into the room. So. Yeah, I wanted to add in another carpet, but then I didn't like any of them, and that avocado one was a little bit too dark for what I was going for in the room. That's why I decided just to have the sofa there and not put any rugs in front of it. One thing I really like to do when I'm decorating an interior is have different height items like for example I have the couch and then the tree on the left that is a little bit higher and then and then I have the magazine on the stool which is lower and I think that really makes the room look realistic and lived in because everything is not going to be perfect in a house just looking at my room right now I have a Christmas tree that is tall and skinny I have a short desk and then I have a bookshelf that is tall and fat so that's what I mean it's I want it to look as realistic as possible and that's why I add all these different items with different heights and dimensions to make the room look lived in and actually like a real room You can't have a reading room without a lamp, so that's what I added there, and I really, really like the way that that one turned out. I just think it is so cute. I feel that the rocking chair is a little bit out of place in this room, but we had to use it, so yeah. And you can't have a comfy, cozy reading room without some tea, coffee, anything like that. That's what I imagine, just cuddling up with a good book, a nice warm cup of coffee or iced coffee, if you're me. <laughs> and 
just reading. Also, I love the cushions, having that be an option because you just pull a book off of one of the bookshelves and you're so excited to read it that you literally can't even make it to the couch. You have to just sit on the cushion on the floor. I think that is so, so fun and just really makes the room look so inviting. Honestly, I can't even believe how well this room turned out. And I think my favorite part of a room after decorating is putting stuff on the walls. I just wanted to add a little bit of stuff here and there because nobody's walls are blank. But I think adding things to the walls really makes it look like a real room. Also, I thought that these hanging shelves would look perfect above the couch just to add a little bit of space. And I wanted to obviously put in that lamp as well. I'm loving the new items for 2.0. It's so much fun to decorate with them. And yeah, so this is the ending product and I love the way that it came out. Alrighty, I truly hope you enjoyed that video of me decorating Eloise's vacation home to be a relaxing reading room. Thank you so very much for watching today's video and please give it a like and also please 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 subscribe to my channel and tick the little notification bell so you always get alerted when I upload a new video. But with all that being said, I hope you have a wonderful day, night, morning, whenever it is that you are watching this video and I will see you tomorrow for day five of our Countdown to Christmas series. Thanks so much for watching. This is Teresa signing off. Bye!